Hi guys, welcome back to our Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel. Today's a uh, cryptocurrency news update. Now, uh, yung main na gagawin natin dito is uh, to give uh, additional information and reaction regarding sa isang interview kay Jan Deaton. For additional information guys, importante to si Jan Deaton dapat maintindihan natin uh, sino ba siya. So, Jan Deaton is the primary attorney defending XRP holder. So, from the time na Uh, ongoing itong uh, XRP and uh, SEC lawsuit nandito na si uh, John Deaton as the defending attorney for XRP holders. Uh, John Deaton explained to Fox Business why the SEC is angry with him. And kapag binasa natin tong article, ang nagiging narrative, parang yung uh, SEC, uh, moving forward daw, ang request nila, wag nang pasalihin sa mga susunod na proceedings itong si John Deaton. Which is parang ang hirap kasi, ba bakit mo nga naman yun gagawin? Eh siya nga yung uh, dating-dati pang uh, nagsasalita in behalf ng XRP Ripple and yung mga uh, XRP holders. So, ayan. So, Deaton's uh, comments were made during an interview with Fox Business Senior Correspondent Charlie Gasparino on the Clayman Countdown na hosted by Liz Clayman. So, ito yung ito yung mismong interview na yon and panonoorin natin yan ngayon and take a look at XRP and XRP now it too was higher earlier it's down about one and a half percent at the moment but it has seen year to date a problem more than 55 percent but all that could change on the outcome of one highly publicized court case so yung price action ni XRP at the moment uh, bababa siya sa uh, expected although kapag nanalo nga naman siya sa lawsuit malaki yung magiging Uh, effect na to para mag-increase or mag-improve yung price action XRP. Between the SEC and crypto company Ripple. Lawyer John Deaton is very much a part of that case. He's been there since the start. Represent you know, so John Deaton has been there from the start. 68,000 retail investors that hold XRP. He joins us now with Charlie Gasparino. Charlie. Ayan, si Charlie. So... Take it away. Uh, John, uh, obviously the case, if you look at some of the motions, is going in your favor, in going in the favor of, of Ripple. It, it seems like the judge is siding with them on motions for discovery, on, on document requests, including Bill Hinman, that former SEC chairman's uh, notes involving his speech that Ripple says is a big part of their case. Um, and you've been right there all along since the beginning as Amicus Curry. And now, from what we understand, they want you gone. From the start ng XRP lawsuit, nandito na to si Jan Deaton. Okay, so para mas mag-make sense yan, balikan natin yung article. Ang sabi dito guys, uh, in the XRP uh, SAC lawsuit, Jan Deaton, the primary attorney uh, defending XRP holders. Ayan. Now, yung nangyari kasi, uh, yung SEC nag-file ng letter last June 7 addressed to uh, U.S. District Judge Honorable Annalisa Torres Siya yung, si Annalisa Torres, ito yung uh, judge na nagpa-facilitate ng XRP versus SEC lawsuit. Now, ang request ng letter ng SEC is to uh, oppose yung six XRP investors na mag-share ng kanilang mga opinions about uh, one of the SEC's experts. Uh, they would like to deny yung motion na ito and prohibit John Deaton from any further participation sa proceedings ng lawsuit na ito. Which is parang uh, malabo yun. Kasi nga, nung nag-originate pa tong kaso na to, nandito na siya. And sa lahat ng mga taong uh, involved na sa kaso na to, malaki talaga yung matutulong niya. Now, yung narrative nito, uh, gumagawa pa rin ng paraan yung SEC para i-delay itong kaso na Uh, unfair ito sa Ripple XRP, hindi lang sa Ripple XRP, lalong-lalo na sa mga holders ng XRP dahil uh, hindi natin nakukuha yung karapat-dapat na price action ng XRP dahil nga sa ongoing lawsuit na to na uh, although favorable na yung mga results sa XRP, uh, ongoing pa rin siya and uh, it appears na pinoprolong lang lalo nung SEC. Well, Charlie, thank you and thank you, Liz, for having me back on. It's crazy times. Uh, they're reasserting that things that they've already asked to the judge. I made a YouTube video where I did a satirical mock cross-examination of former Chairman Clayton, and I infused scenes from my cousin Vinny, and I, I tweeted a few things that were harsh criticism, and they told the judge that I shouldn't be granted amicus status because of that. She rejected those views, granted me amicus status, and lo and behold, now they're arguing that I should be thrown off the case. Right. They, well, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not saying I agree, but they described you as 
It's violent. I uh, okay, so did he describe those sure as uh, violent? They said that, that you said you wanted. There was one thing where you satirically suggested you would smack Jay Clayton, the former SEC chair, in the face, and there was. Uh, well, ah, medyo merong okay. Yung mga ano choice of words niya siguro hindi nagustuhan dun sa isa niyang video. The other one. It was a, it was a, oh the video of, of the mock video of Clayton and and also that you mentioned a, a witness for for the uh, for the SEC. Um, obviously these are you were you were kidding around, right? I mean just get that off the table. Yeah, it, it was a mock a mock cross examination right. uh, of Jay Clayton, satirical, exaggerated. For example, Charlie Liz, I had a, a time where in the My Cousin Vinny movie, the judge says to uh, Joe Pesci, "Are you on drugs?" And <laughs> I, I remember that. I and I respond, and I respond to the judge, pretending, no judge, I don't use drugs, but maybe I'll need them soon. They claim that I promoted drug use. Ah. They literally argued that nonsense. Well, the judge insane. rejected okay. all of this. Well, they're you know, going, well you're losing. They're, they are losing the case. This is, uh, by the way, Liz threatens threatens to kill me every day. So and. Okay, so para hindi na lumayo yung mga explanations nito ni John Deaton, kinontrol na nitong host yung interview. And I'm still here, right? Uh, but... <laughs> Which I'm doing something wrong, John. I don't know. You gotta the, help the poison's me. not working, whatever it's going on. But, but what are the next steps in this okay, case? Yeah. I mean, we... Ano daw yung mga expect natin sa case? going around and around. It obviously has huge implications. If Ripple wins and they can say they're not a registered security, they're but not they a security. But they are a, a, a crypto. A crypto. So, ano, ito, pakinggan natin to. If they, if they win, yes, exactly. that, that, that basically is going to curtail the SEC's regulation efforts. And it looks like they're moving in that direction, at least based on the judge's motions. What's the next step here? Well, the next step right now, there's that Daubert motion, which is just challenging expert witnesses. And briefing next month is due for summary judgments. That's where each side tries to get a complete victory. The judge decides one way or the other. Or she might decide that a jury has to issue certain factors. But you're right, Charlie. A lot is at stake because the SEC has come out and argued that the token itself, not just the way Ripple sells it, but that if anyone in the United States sells XRP, they're violating Section 5. So okay. if the SEC were to get its way then and deem XRP a security, the token itself, then every altcoin on the market, including Ethereum, would be in play for the SEC to get their hands on the uh, this asset I know, class. I, that's what I'm saying. This, is, this has huge ramifications. Uh, Brand Ayan, so pag hindi talaga nanalo yung XRP dito sa lawsuit, hindi lang naman yung XRP yung apektado dito, including na rin yung ibang mga uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, coins, uh, tokens sa uh, market, except yung Bitcoin, uh, na-mention dito na lahat ng altcoins, including Ethereum. Ed Sherman told okay. Ellie Terrett, my producer today, that he thinks that the SEC is going to win easy. He thinks that the investigation should expand, not just to this one aspect with Ripple, to any any like coin wallet or any sort of aspect of crypto that that was trading the XRP or trades it. Do you, what, what do you think about that? Well, I think that uh, Congressman Sherman, uh, along with Chairman Gensler, wouldn't know security mm -hmm. if it bit him in the butt, to be honest with you. Um, they keep saying that. Mga choice of words niya kasi. Apaluin daw sa pet. You're gonna get in trouble for saying that, by the way. That's violent. Ayun, well, no? na correct no, na, na call out siya nung ano. I know, I know, I said but. <laughs> so they're, they're gonna tweak that. Hey, think about this, Charlie. There is taxpayer dollars are being spent for someone to shadow everything I do and read every tweet I make. And if I may say for you and Liz, I want to quote someone very important who said, okay. "Quote the SEC's litigation tactics suggest that the SEC is adopting its legal positions to further its desired goal and not out of the faithful allegiance of the law." Charlie, Liz, you know who said that? That's not a John Deaton tweet. That's Judge Sarah Netburn I know she's saying, saying it. Nice. In yeah. well, Liz, has a, Liz has a question for you. John, my question involves, uh, obviously, XRP has continued, well, let's say Ripple, has continued to forge ahead. In fact, they've got a pretty decent overseas business. Yan, ito guys, ito yung pakinggan natin na part. Ito yung, siguro ito yung pinaka magagat, ito yung isa sa mga magandang part ng video na to. And guys, uh, lilinawin lang natin, uh, yung cryptocurrency, hindi pa talaga siya fully regulated dito sa Pilipinas. Nagkakaroon tayo ng opportunity para makapag-buy and sell ng cryptocurrency dahil uh, regulated dito ng uh, Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas under a specific guideline. Ang tawag dito ay yung uh, VASP or yung Virtual Asset Service Provider. Now guys, uh, for example, dito sa Pilipinas, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, opportunity to buy and sell 
uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, for example, yung coins.ph and Maya or PayMaya. Uh, alin sunod doon sa tinatawag na uh, VASP. Ang tawag doon is yung virtual asset service provider. So once na uh, meron nito yung isang uh, exchange. So for example, Coins PH and yung Maya, uh, nagiging full, uh, regulated siya ng ating BSP or Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Kaya allowed tayo dito sa overseas uh, example yung Pilipinas na mag-buy and sell ng cryptocurrency. Kasi uh, regulated siya ng BSP with the help ng guidelines uh, na nakapaloob sa VASP or Virtual Asset Service Provider. Now, most likely, uh, same uh, principle yung nag apply sa ibang bansa pero hindi na tayo lalayo. Yun yung nag exist na uh, guidelines na meron tayo dito sa Pilipinas. So, tignan natin yung isasagot ni John dito kung anong mangyayari pagka natalo yung XRP sa lawsuit. Malamang di na makabili yung mga tao ng XRP kung taga uh, US or kung re, uh, US residents ka. Pero how about kung overseas? So, tignan natin yung isasagot. Don't they now? So, they're legit overseas. Is there any way to somehow split the difference? I mean, if the SEC suddenly says you guys are a security and not a currency and that becomes a disaster here in the US, yeah. can they still continue to do business and can they still continue to do and make profits overseas and make profits overseas oh absolutely 90 oh, absolutely 5% of what uh, Brad Garlinghouse said of XRP sales are outside the United States kita niyo yun 95% daw nung uh, sabihin na natin investment outside the US kaya pala pag uh, ini-interview to si uh, Brad Garlinghouse nakangiti lang patawa-tawa and confident na confident although uh, hindi tayo magiging uh, kampante kasi nga uh, SEC itong uh, may challenge dito sa kaso na to. States. And Liz, that's a great question because there's an easy win for everyone in this case. The SEC uh, could reach a settlement with Ripple and say that early sales when the ecosystem was at its infancy, that those sales constituted a security, but that today's XRP, it's been <laughs> deemed a non-security in Singapore, Switzerland, United Arab <laughs> Emirates. Uh, Naririnig nyo ba yung mga bansa na yun? and many other jurisdictions it's only in the united states hmm. being held up and, and so and then they'll one, survive let me just ask this john it will survive though of uh, sort of broadening the discussion here we were higher for all most of the big name uh, cryptos but then it, there was a headline that hit earlier just a couple of hours ago that uh, guys additional information na itong mga nakikita nyong price action july 20 to sa date kasi to nung mismong interview kaya uh, fyi lang Peter Thiel, a Peter Thiel backed crypto company had gone bankrupt. So now you've got Celsius, you've got this one, and it makes you wonder if the SEC looks at this and is painting everybody with the same ugly brush. Well, they, they are, but you know what they, there are, and, and let me make it clear, there are pump and dump schemes, there are fraud that's going on in, in, in any industry, including the crypto industry, but what you have is a few of these players who are using highly leveraged strategies, and the house of cards are falling, but you cannot complete a, uh, mm. paint an entire industry with a broad brush. Liz, I went on record to say, I believe Gary Gensler is going to sue an exchange, whether it's Yo, Coinbase. Yun yung nakatakot, guys. Isa na rin to sa mga importanteng isi-share natin sa video na to. Uh, again, uh, all the information on our Involved Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel is uh, published in good faith and for general information purpose only. And any action that you take upon the information that you find on our website is strictly at your own risk. Ayan. So yun yung uh, disclaimer statement natin. So um, always do your own research okay? when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency. Ang nangyayari dito sa... Uh, part na to, sinasabi ni John dito na na foresee niya na most likely may uh, kakasuhan na naman yung SEC ng mga exchange na nagbebenta ng XRP. Pero uh, sa US ito, although yun na nga, uh, medyo uh, risky rin talaga yung XRP kapag uh, malaking amount ng XRP nyo nakalagay sa exchange, dapat mag-research kayo and uh, magkaroon kayo ng decision sa sarili ninyo kung sa ang exchange nyo ilalagay or kung iiwanan nyo ba talaga sa exchange yung XRP nyo or uh, gagamitan nyo ng uh, ledger, uh, hard, uh, cold wallet para itago yung mga XRP holdings ninyo. So, uh, not a financial advice pero at least meron tayong fair warning kung ano yung mga posible nating dapat gawin in case na may hahabulin or may uh, sasampahan na kaso yung SEC na mga cryptocurrency exchange na nagbebenta ng XRP. Or Binance or another exchange in the United States. Ano sabi niya? Coinbase and Binance.
going to sue in exchange whether it's Coinbase or Binance. Whether it's hindi niya naman sinabi pero baka kasi major uh, most likely yung maaapektuhan ito yung major ng mga exchange talaga. Binance or another exchange in the United States by the end of the year. Hmm. Okay. And, and what's your timetable for when they decide your fate on this thing? Well, the judge, I have until Monday to give my response to the SEC asking that I be thrown out of the case. Ayun no, ayaw siya talaga ano eh. Nag-submit kasi ng letter tong SEC na hindi na siya mag-participate uh, sa mga susunod na proceedings. Uh, and to the amicus status to be revoked. I'll answer that on Monday and then hopefully uh, the judge within a week will give a decision. That's great. All right. Uh, na- so sana yung judge dapat payagan pa rin siyang mag-continue. Kasi valuable yung mga information na alam niya. Saka kung unang matagal ka nang nandito sa kaso na to, alam mo lahat ng ganap. Kaya importante lang na dapat nandito pa rin siya. In behalf of the Ripple XRP and XRP holders. All right, we got to end it there, John. Thank you. John, thank you so much. And Charlie, thank you. Closing thank you, bell. John. We are five. So, more fruitful gains, everyone. I'll see you again on our next vlog. Bye for now.